Okay, not having it in the Game Caviar studio. Today is the day that I bring you another new video for the channel. And this is a video game that we, you will most likely see again. It's a video game that I didn't know that much about until I played this uh, online beta exclusive demo. And this is Tom Clancy's Future Soldier. I'm playing the multiplayer um, beta that I got in because I'm part of PlayStation Plus. It downloaded yesterday, but the beta didn't start until today. So I'm bringing you exclusive first-hand game caviar edition of this awesome game. Now, this is obviously a third-person shooter, as you can see. You can look down the sights and kind of make it a first-person shooter, but it's not the same effect. Um, this game is really fun. I played two matches, okay? And this game has... has they. They managed to take a lot of good things from other first-person shooters and mix them together well. And when I say that, I mean uh, you could spawn on one of your teammates. They got that from Battlefield. Uh, let's see. They have a lot of customization from the guns. Um, underbarrel, trigger. Uh, let's see. Sights. Uh, what else? Uh, gas system. Um, they have a lot of customization. And I believe that that came from uh, a mix between... Uh, Battlefield and Medal of Honor uh, they have a fast it, it's a very um, high tempo fast fun gameplay they got that from uh, Call of Duty uh, I haven't seen any type of kill streaks or anything like that any sort of cheap assness like that so I'm glad they kept that out of the game what they also managed to do is they managed to uh, take some cues from SOCOM they, I mean it has a it looks like this is what I wanted SOCOM to be. When SOCOM 4 came out, it was so hyped up and I was so ready to play it and happy to play it. And then when I played it, it was like it was lacking, it was missing. I had uh, a better time playing MAG than I did SOCOM, but um, this game is really good. And I don't have to, I'm not gonna worry about the single player campaign in this game because every Tom Clancy game I've played has had a really good single player campaign. Um, so, for this to be as good online i can already tell that this game is going to be amazing i read something the other day that said that the online campaign was um was was wasn't that great and it kind of discouraged me from playing this game in fact i didn't choose to download it i turned on my playstation and it downloaded automatically and i'm glad i played it but this is something that this is this reviews like this or what game caviar are all about you have these big name websites that just dish out uh um reviews for games that they haven't completed or really haven't played or they just putting in too many too many um they're, they're putting in too much of a personal opinion into reviews see i'm not gonna do that we at game caviar we don't do that we're gonna give you a factual truthful evaluation of every game that we play Okay, if 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 this game sucked, I would have said they sucked. I didn't. I don't think it sucked. From the two matches that I played on two different levels, this game was uh, action packed, fast paced. It, I didn't have any lag issues. I didn't have any hit detection issues. I didn't have any control issues. The controls are slightly different from Call of Duty, but they're not bad to where you have to relearn a whole new controller scheme. It's it's just, it's different, but it's not drastically different. Uh, the graphics looked amazing. The sound, I was listening to the sound and the sound is really good. And I didn't have on my, uh, my gaming website, I mean, not my gaming website, my gaming headset, but I do have my PS3 hooked up to a, um, it's not really a surround sound, but it's more like, it's computer speakers with a sub and I can hear, uh the different types of guns i can hear explosions in the distance they sound different different than explosions up close there was a lot of attention and detail put into this game as far as the sound goes and where you could tell exactly where somebody is shooting if they're on the left side if they're on the right side you could tell if a grenade is being exploded right in front of you or um far away from you you can understand that another thing that this game does that's really good is that you can actually run and reload at the same time uh, something that you will never be able to do in call of duty ever uh, you can um let me see you can run and gun 
if I'm running and then all of a sudden I need to shoot, you can do that. That's something that Call of Duty will also never have. Um, it's, this game is really good. It surprised me, and it really did. I had no expectations for this game. And like I said, one of these stupid websites said that it wasn't that great. You know, I mean, how, how can they say that? How can they personally say that? They either don't know about any type of shooting games at all, or they only played it for a few minutes and had some sort of bad luck streak or something, so they said the whole game sucked. And when I first started playing, I didn't do that great. But you have to look past what your what your KD ratio is in a game. Just because you're not having a good time because the game just started and it's your first time playing, it doesn't mean the game sucks. It just means that you have to get used to it and have to understand the mechanics of the game and evolve your skills around that. And that's what I did. See, this match, I end up going 18 and 11. Uh, it's really good. I had a lot of, of grenade kills. I went and, like, you could tell, like, an enemy is over there. You might have seen it in the video. I had to chop it down a lot because uh, the match lasted for um, 16 minutes which is good it didn't seem like 16 minutes when i was playing it it's not like battlefield where matches last for 30 minutes and you're like jesus when is this going to be over this match lasted that long and it was um like i said you didn't notice it because it was so fast paced and they kept giving you objectives disarm this capture this go over here do that uh kill the hacker the enemy hacker the high value target uh but yeah i had a couple good uh grenade tosses in here while we get multiple kills and and things of that nature they have different classes and you rank up in each class similar to how you do in battlefield and and it's not like a um it's not like a uh, on call of duty where you just rank up your character um it's kind of like that in call of duty modern warfare 3 because they have the gun ranks now but anyway this game has success successfully taken everything good from other first-person or third-person shooters and managed to mesh it together into a very good game. I'm going to buy this game. I'm going to play this game. You will see this game again on this channel. I need to figure out exactly when it's coming out because I really hadn't followed it. I, You know what? When it was released, it was supposed to be released last year, right? Or am I thinking of another game? No, this was the game, and they delayed the hell out of it. Because it wasn't the one that's supposed to come out like last March or something. And then they delayed it. And after they delayed it for such a long time, I was like, well, this game is probably going to get canceled. So I'm not going to worry about it. But I'm glad to see that they stuck with the project. And I'm glad to see that they took the extra time to actually do something positive with the game. This game looks polished. It looks, um, it looks like they put a lot of uh, time into it. And it seems like it's going to be a really good uh, final product and this is a beta so this isn't even the final game build the actual game may be a lot better than this this is also something that call of duty should do is have public or private probably public betas because this is how you get the fans who like the game this is how you get their input into what needs to be changed to make the game better so it will not be in the rut that it is now but Tom Clancy, Future Soldier, amazing. Like, comment, subscribe. We just uh, went past 400 subscribers on our way to 1,000 by December 31st. I believe we're going to be able to do that. And um, I want to thank every subscriber, every single last one of you. You know, the Spartans only had 300 soldiers when they fought King Xerxes. And we at Game Caviar had 400 subscribers. So I like our chances. And I know the real story was not... He had more than 300 soldiers, but just for imaginary and movie realm, okay? We have enough to really fight King Xerxes. I'm watching Roadhouse over here. This game is amazing. I mean, this movie is amazing. They should make this into a video game. Roadhouse. Anyway, I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios. I love this game. I'm going to play it again in the Game Caviar Studios. Like, comment, subscribe. I know I said it before, but I really want to make a thousand subscribers, and I believe we're going to be able to do that. So, I'm going to go finish watching Roadhouse. I'm out. Roadhouse.